Hello and welcome to the MSAG Online UK CAT course. In this video, we will cover the basic ideas behind Venn diagrams, including either or questions and what it means for a number to be in two categories. Just a warning, the Venn diagrams in the decision-making subtest of the UK CAT are a bit funkier looking than the ones you have likely to come across in textbooks. But don't let that put you off. Try to follow the simple approaches that we tell you about in this video and keep on practicing. Our objectives over the next five minutes or so are to describe every section of the Venn diagram and prepare you for the trickier Venn diagram questions using an example. So what do the Venn diagrams on the UK CAT look like? Here's a good example. Try to tackle the question that is on the screen now and see how you do. Your target should be about 30 seconds to get the answer. Question 1. Harry studies the genres of books in his sixth form library. He compiles the Venn diagram shown. How many books have been categorised as belonging to exactly two genres? 12, 13, 25 or 49? Did you get 13? That is the correct answer. One of the hallmarks of a decision-making Venn diagram is the presence of multiple overlapping shapes. As you probably know, a number appearing inside two or more shapes means that the number represents individuals of objects that are in all of the overlapping categories. For example, the three in the Venn diagram shown represents books that are both romance and fantasy. If a number is inside none of the shapes, as the number seven is, it belongs in none of the categories given. You might have gotten 25 as your answer to this question. This would be because you didn't spot that one of the 12s that we can see is in fact inside three overlapping shapes those that correspond to fantasy, horror and sci-fi. As the question was asking for a number of books that fall into exactly two categories, these 12 books do not count. Instead, we have three that belong to both romance and fantasy, plus five belonging to fantasy and sci-fi, plus another five belonging to fantasy and horror. Attention to detail is the key when tackling Venn diagrams. When you see more than two shapes, so in our example where sci-fi, horror and fantasy overlap, be extra vigilant and focus on this area in particular. I advise taking a moment to look at this area and separate the overlapping values accordingly in your mind. So for example, five books are both sci-fi and horror, five are sci-fi and fantasy, and 12 are sci-fi, fantasy and horror. This reduces the risk of making a careless mistake and falling into the trap. 